Hello, Senesine here. And we've got to talk about the Queen's Village buses. Mm -hmm. I thought I wasn't going to make it, well, it wasn't going to make any videos like this, but I've got it because Andy's randomness. He's been experiencing the same antics he did four years ago. And you're saying this, I love your Queen's Village videos. I hope, I'm gonna try and view the the two I, the two most recent ones I hadn't seen yet, so I'll be there seeing your video. The Queen's Village bus antics. This is a problem that comes from nice bus. Mm -hmm. And how their antics have spread over to Eastern Queens. Now, of course, places on the South Shore in Queens are probably much better because they get the treatment. Mm -hmm. Those being like St. Albans, uh, Laurelton, Locust Manor, or as places in Queens Village area, like Hollis, Queens Village, Floral Park, and places to the north of there, like on the Port Washington branch, get treated like crap. Mm -hmm with the MTA bus. Now, the buses that Andy's randomness rode on back in 2018, those are now gonna be mine. They're on, they're gonna be, well, they're currently being bought from the MTA, the, the crappy, not just the crappy next gens, but also the OGs. I meant to say not just the OGs, but of course, since the crappy next gens are going, they're being bought. And so are the Nova LFSs that debuted on the M15 select bus service back when I was in middle school, <laughs> in 2011. Is it early dismissal? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Today is early dismissal at the Eastchester schools. <laughs> anyway, back to the topic. Those, those buses did show some problems, but with the refurbishment of the TTT buses, buses in Queens Village, Nassau, Suffolk, Westchester, other parts of the city, they be just fine. Same thing with like the new flyers on SEPTA that we bought, and the 104 Beeline Orion 5s that are, keep, that are being bought. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm just mostly sure that these buses have been bought, mm -hmm. or will be bought in the next couple of days or weeks from now. But I'm glad to see that there's going to be new articulated buses available, since all the D60s were sadly scrapped before I could get them. Just like how the Nova RTSs were all scrapped before I could get them. Same with the. Uh, even earlier the Orions on the MTA bus. <laughs> but here we are at Herrick's Road. <laughs> Except it's not the real Herrick's, so it doesn't go under the main line, which is the Harlem line. But Queens Village, they need to get their act together yet again. And Andy's randomness is going to be going through a miserable time until the TTT is around, where he gets a disabled fare mm -hmm. and a disabled Metro card fare mm -hmm. on the TTT bus and later on TTT Suburban Rail. Mm -hmm. Now, since he's in New York City area, his his suburban rail trains will look like subway cars, whereas pine power lines that go to along the N40 and 41 and 22 and 24, those types of routes, will look like commuter rail cars. <laughs> Same with me, that mine don't look like commuter rail cars. Pretty soon I'm moving to White Plains, Dixville. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> and my, my territory where I'm going to be living is not going to be electrified as a result. <laughs> 
as electrification on the on the main line of the TTT ends at mm -hmm, ends at Scarsdale. Now there are electric trains and white planes running on the Route 22 line, and even some in Pleasantville that will be running between there and Haverstraw from Armonk, mm -hmm. from Stanford actually. And took that's what it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. And then Nice will probably go out of business because of the competing competing rail and bus. Then their bus will just be put in the garbage because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna purchase buses from Nice as they fold. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Mm -hmm. Once again, there's the early dismissal bus. Mm -hmm. Cheese bus, actually. Yeah, I should cross over here. Mm -hmm. Safer. Actually, it's not so safe, but <laughs> I did it. Mm -hmm. the main line because it goes through several streets. Sagamore, Columbus, Dale, Scarsdale, Brunson and Parkway. It's five right there. That's just after it turns from from Midland and then walks the road. As the terminal is going to be Woodland, not across the canyon like it used to be. So, the three of you, Pine Power Ally, and he's running this Evan Gold Transit, and that's his new name. Hope to see you on the system soon.